another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make AJMVs. Um, I use Comtasia, as some people may know. Um, so right now I'm doing a AJMV for the song Popular. Here is what I have so far. So that's all I really have right now. Um, I already have what I need because I don't really want to record while I'm also recording. But Comtasia does come with a recorder. So right now I'm going to show you how to green screen. So I'm going to bring it in this. And this is like my little green screen bunny. It's my little brown white one so now technically I like to stop it exactly when I think the line is over you don't have to do that this is just my opinion um, but I think it's best because you don't want to get it perfectly and then keep going thinking the line goes on so what I do is I pause it and then if I want to see if the line goes on, I just keep listening. So the line keeps going on, so I'm just going to delete that. Now, for green screening, you select what you need. You can also select it down here. And you go to visual properties. If it's not there, you can find it here. So you go down to remove a color and if it was something else then you go to select a color and then you do that um, I have different things set up the tolerance if you want to play with it it's right here I like 8 because that's kind of perfect for me you can do different softnesses softness is like how soft the tolerance is I like four for that and the hue kind of just changes the color sort of I just normally play around with that so defringe kind of changes it so <laughs> it's kind of cool sometimes because you can get it to be like only one color showing anyway so right now this is what it would look like and I can do this one effect where if I colorize it, I have pink right there, and I go down to where it's remove a color, and I click invert effect. It changes the color, and if you change the color of what it's colored for, what it's colorized, this also changes, so you can have neon, you can have whatever, but right now I don't really want that. So, now, um, if I would like something in the background, I can also go to, um, callouts and find a shape, like I can get an octagon, I've already made some effects for the octagon, but you can play around with it here, change the color, size, and you can type in it, so, yeah. I'm going to crop it right there. Now, I have this octagon, and then I also want to use this, which I think is really cool. So, I have it right there, and it's just this little effect, so right here. You have this all and I want it all centered. So, just like this. 
Um, so, there you go. All that. So, now, what if I want the octagon to shake? So, I just go and click Add Animation. And I can make the animation as long or short as I want. So, right now, I want the octagon to shake. So, I would move it up one. And then I would add another animation and move it down once, right where I want it to be. So there it shakes. Now, for shaking, I like to blow it up all the way because otherwise you can be tricked for how long or short it is. So now I want it for the whole time. So you just do copy and paste. Paste. And there the octagon shake. Don't know why it just grew though. Oh well. Um so that's all over there. Then for speeding it up, I already have something. If you want it to be like going so fast the fox I used fox is like virtually going in circles. That's like Bet up a thousand. I like this effect where you go to visual properties, you select a really popular color. Oh gosh. I have all these effects. Okay, so I remove this the floor color and then I go and I select the black. And then I go to 100% and it just looks really cool. Well, I think it does. I don't know. You might not. See? Well, I got the lyrics wrong there, but that's okay. So, now we have this. I'm going to bring it out a little. And we can speed it up. For this, you right-click you go to clip speed and you can just do ups or downs but you can also uh, type it in so 1000 that would make it so fast it's like spinning in circles see I can do copy and paste so it's lasting a little longer there. Um, I kind of like it small and simple, so I'm just going to go with 300. And I cut it right there. Uh, so, there is sped up a bunch of effects. Oh, and you can also add in text. And you can blur some spots or you can pixelate some spots so like I would pixelate this and so the whole time it would just be pixelated See? and there you are you can also make it blurred or some or this all shadowed and this is just plainly lit up so it's like only what you want is lit up so that's kind of cool and fun to play with so that's all really that i do and you put it all together and you have a whole big song thanks for watching bye